What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown on how to make some rope with the Z Modeler tool. Um, this comes from a, a friend of mine contacted me earlier today. Had a project that they were working on for a class that they were uh, they're taking over at the Art Institute here in Austin, and um, they. We're making a hot air balloon and they needed to make some rope to go along with it so I uh, figured well there's a couple of ways you can go about this you can use you can use an insert mesh and you could probably take a chunk of this and make an insert mesh uh, brush and then uh, draw out on a curve and you know that that could suffice uh, but what if you're just trying to get the basic shape of things down so let's Hop right into it. So let me grab just a random shape. It doesn't matter what it is. That could probably actually work, but I'm going to hop over here and just uh set the Y resolution on this to 1 and uh, just use a uh, Q cylinder in the Y boom okay so we got four sides four half so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here oops grab every other one and I'm gonna Q mesh this out. Uh, that's a pretty good distance. And what I'm gonna do is come through, and with my insert edge loop, tap that, tap that, hit that. And one more. I probably could have made my life easier if I had turned on symmetry, but it's all good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get this a little bit of shape before I uh, go too crazy with it. I'm just going to do this individually. So I'm going to move this in the infinite Y. So that it pulls everything straight down and along with it. So I'm going to grab that, pull it out, pull that one out, that one, and that one. And then I want to come through and start giving this a little bit of shape too. All right. Yeah. It's kind of good to work out of symmetry sometimes because you can get some different results much more organic results and you'll see here in a moment that this really doesn't take that long so that's uh... that's pretty good so now what I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm just going to set an edge loop there, set an edge loop there. With my selection brush, I'm going to deselect that and deselect that. Come up to geometry. Now, you know, I'm going to make this so that it has. Uh, open ends, but you might want to go back through and uh, clean it up. Uh, I'm going to delete hidden. And now, I'm going to go ahead and set some creases because we're going to need this here in a minute. Set a crease there. There. there 
And there. Head over to my deformation. We're going to adjust the size of this and the Y. So that it goes in both directions. Come on, ZBrush. It one more time. Okay. All right. So that's plenty long enough. I'm gonna come back in with my insert. I'm just gonna start. Inserting edge loops. Purpose of this is so that whenever we add our twist modifier to it, it has some sort of structure to work with. Now, if you go to much, I think this is probably good enough distance. You're having a hard time seeing it. Just the material to say uh, skin shade four, and that that'll that'll help you see this. And you can also go in, in through your preferences and actually adjust it even more so that it cuts out the shader so much, and all you're seeing is just the pure poly group. I want to go through and just try to even these out. that they will I hope that they'll do next time around is work a little bit on the approximation I know that Maya did a big update for what was it 2015 they um you know it's such a small thing but uh made it so that you didn't have to be right on the money whenever you were trying to hit objects so hope that um, hope that pixel logic will adjust those parameters just a little bit so that you don't have to be right there exactly on the edge because there's you know whenever you're moving around especially especially with the um, with the stylus you you tend to get uh, I know I do uh, you get in that sculpting mode, you know, and you're just making quick changes. But whenever you're doing things at this uh, low of a level, uh, you got to force yourself to slow down, I suppose. So I think something like that would probably help out just a little bit. So let's have a look at this before we hit it with that modifier. So if I got my crease in there, everything's looking good. Now... I want to add a twist and the Y if it will turn on. There we go. Alright, so it's a little extreme. Don't go too crazy with it. And a lot of this is gonna have to do with your spacing of your um your loops. But um let's jump over back back over to this basic material but um you know not too long of amount of time we've got ourselves a little piece of rope All right nothing fancy so you can um, go through you know, apply this how you want to you know Do whatever you need to with it, right? 
So, I, this is nothing crazy. Um, there are plenty of other ways to make rope in this wonderful little program we call ZBrush. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, give me a shout. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them. Help this help smooth it out a little bit. Uh, I am working on a uh, tutorial series. Um, took me a minute to figure out where I wanted to go with it. Um, you know, there's there's a ton of information out there. You know, uh, you guys are probably bombarded with uh, how to use the Z modeler brush, how to use array mesh, how to use this, that, and the other. Um, you know, uh, you don't need one more tutorial on how to do all that but um i figured maybe let's uh work on something to to show it a little more uh, more practical approach you know how would you use this on a project so i've been working on a project and i've been playing around with some ideas um one of which is going to involve a uh pegasus so uh, you can see i've been working on some wings uh, so I'm going to be jumping into some some nano nano brush or nano mesh. Uh, so we'll be we'll be using that with uh, along with some features as far as the Z modeler goes. But um, we're going to take it from you know a concept to you know final product. I think I'm going to develop this more for. Uh, printing purposes because uh, it's something I'm very interested in lately so uh, we'll we'll take that and sort some of the principles that we uh, would use for something like this and you know kind of mesh them together and see what we come up with so um, please stay tuned uh, if uh, you're new please subscribe uh, and welcome uh, there are plenty of uh, plenty of people out there with uh, great ideas and I'd love for you guys to share them um, so uh, I hope this was helpful and I want to thank you for stopping by thanks for watching happy zebra brushing guys